Hello everybody and welcome back to another spoiler review with me, The Border Prince. Now today we're talking about a short story by Guy Haley called Armour of Fate. And this is fucking incredible. <laughs> it was released as part of the Summer of Reading thing, you know, the thing they do. Where they release different book stories, short stories, and uh, yeah, well, I only picked up this one. The other ones, some of them seem quite interesting, but this one really uh, sang to me. It, so it's kind of like um, an in-between thing. I think, I mean, I'm not too sure where it's set exactly. I think it might be before the Dark Imperium, um, the novel, where, whatever, the, whenever that's set. <laughs> because simply, uh, last we heard from Gilliman, he was off to combat uh, Mortarian, who was attacking the Ultramar. And at the minute, I'm listening to the Lords of Night, uh, Lords of Silence, the uh, Death Guard novel, which is fantastic. I'll do a review of that soon as well. Um, yeah, <laughs> this was incredible. This was great. Okay, so it starts off. Gilliman's been stuck in this uh, armor of fate since he was reawakened on Ultramar at the start of the uh, dark. Well, you know this whole period, the fall of Cadia and so on. Uh, before he went off to Terra and blah blah blah. It's actually really funny. He's sat there and he's he's furious. He can't form a fist. He can't pick up papers. It's brilliant what Guy Haley's done here. He's he's really captured the humanity of Gilliman, I guess. <laughs> um, there's some jokes in it. There's some humour in it. It's really entertaining. I was really, really surprised how funny it was. It's only a short story. It's about 40 pages long. But if you can get it, go and get it. I'll put the link in the in below but you can get it on anywhere um, you know it's, it's available everywhere to download basically it's fucking great <laughs> but the interesting thing is they go to a planet and he meets with Eldred Ulfwan uh, Eldred Ulfwan? yeah Eld Eldred Ulfwan <laughs> I forgot his name so the uh, the Farseer the, the ultimate Farseer pretty much one of the main leaders of the Eldar race oh there's a bunch of stuff before yeah so he goes and talks with um, Cowell's machine that's in the bottom of his ship uh, that he thinks he's an AI machine. It's like got 20 fucking human skulls that scream and stuff when he's around it. And he tries to ask him, he wants to he wants to find out what's going to happen to him if he takes off the armour of fate. And the machine is, it's, it's a nice little, if you've read The Dark Imperium, there's a whole stretch with him saying, you know, is this actually like the the body of Eldred? You know, uh, Eldred, uh, Core. Is this uh, an AI? Is this alive? Does it think, or is it just giving me sort of pre-recorded uh, words based on the codes that are put in? And you really get the idea that it's not. And I think Gilliman knows it's not. If he knows it's an AI, he knows it's alive. <laughs> and I think it is as well. But you get a nice little thing about uh, more about Call and his relationship, and I'm really looking forward to that being explored more. I don't think it's going to be in the next novel. That's going to be about Mortarian and him. But I really want to know more about Call. Um, I'm still of the theory that it's actually a clone of Fabius Bile. <laughs> Which is possible. It's distinctly possible. Um, yeah, it's it, this is an amazing tale. So we get all that. We get him uh, trying to decide how to get out of the, uh, the suit. Uh, because he wants to. I mean, he's been trapped in this for years now. You know, he can't wash, he can't bathe. You can imagine how fucking frustrating it is, even for a Primarch. And he's, he's just at the end of his tether and he wants to take it off. And he just wants to know, will he die? And Eldred tells him, well, no, but it, it, the, the, that, might not be the, that might be the least of your problems from taking it off. You know, you might lose something of yourself. So it's sort of bound to be soul. Uh, yeah, it's a tremendous little tale and I highly recommend it. Uh, you definitely need to read it. It's essential reading for new law, for new Dark Imperium law, uh, the new setting. You need to read this. And I am full of anticipation for Guy Haley's new book that's, I can't remember what it's called, Ah, Plague War with Mortarian. And the Lords of Silence book also covers certain sections of this, particularly after the fall of Her But I'm not going to talk about that now. What am I doing? I'm going to talk about that another time. Uh, this is just a quick one. This was just a short story, and it's a really good short story. And I think it's if you've read Dark Imperium, you need to read this, and you're definitely going to... I don't know, this is going to be one of them ones when they finally make an omnibus of Guy Haley's work on this sort of uh, Dark Imperium series, Gilliman series. Yeah, this is going to be one of the short stories that's included in it. So, yeah, you need to read it. It's it's pretty funny. It's really interesting. And you get a lot of lore in there. Uh, particularly stuff how he, he's still referring to the Marines as the 
he refers to the Primaris as the Primaris, but he refers to the other Marines as the old type. Pure utter disregard, the old type, <laughs> which I like. I want to see that whole Primaris thing explored more. Yeah, it still hasn't been to a, to a great extent. You know, I know we've had that one with the Dark Angels, their opinion of it, which seemed a bit, I don't know, man. It seemed a little bit too easy. Uh, the Dark Imperium one did tackle it a bit better, and Guy Haley seems to be the only one who is tackling it quite well. Uh, you know, he's touched upon it in Devastation of Bar. I mean, God, what a fucking great author Guy Haley is. <laughs> he's my favourite now, he is truly. He's got a... I just, he's got a fantastic way of writing it. I'm really enjoying it. He, he really, he knows the stuff and he's, he's capturing it beautifully and really telling a fascinating story with humanity in it. You know, it's he's a really, really good writer. It's, uh, you get a feeling of who people are when he when he talks about them. Yeah, I'm not a writer, so I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to express this. <laughs> but I really like Guy Haley's work and if, you, you need to read Dark Imperium, definitely. You need to get the Plague uh, War when that comes out in October. I'll be picking it up and reading it immediately and trying to get a review out to you guys straight away. But this one is a nice little a little taster of what's to come. And it adds to what we already know, which is important because there isn't that much information out there. So, yes, that's it really. That's all I've got to say on this. I'll definitely go and pick it up. I think it's probably... it's. I, I paid £2.50 for it. Um, so I read it on the way to work. I started it reading it in the morning, and I finished reading it when I got back home uh, on my travels on um, public transport in the UK. So yeah, it was a quick read, which is the whole point. Um, but it's a beautiful little addition, beautiful little taster of what we can expect. And it, yeah, the call stuff's funny. The, when he's interacting with um, uh, Captain Sycorus, is funny. Uh, when he goes to the planet, is funny. There's another thing about Overlord, uh, the, the, the ships that they're using, the sort of upgraded versions of the Thunderhawk, which appear to be dual hulled Thunderhawks. I think that's how it's, it's sort of presented there. I want to see more description of them. I don't know if I'm just missing something and that exists already and it's something I just haven't caught on. But there's like a whole new sort of Primaris, new Astartes uh, gunship that's enormous and super powerful. But anyway, yeah, it's really good. Um, yeah, so he goes to like an ice planet and he meets Aldred in this sort of like lost Elvin colony. Elvin? Um, Aldari. Eldar <laughs> colony. And has a chat with him. And yeah, Eldred's kind of saying, um, we are going to have to stand together against the threats of the future sort of thing. You know, our fates are entwined as races, which is nice again. You know, it sort of adds the bigger picture to it, which again, Guy Haley does. He really manages to capture that big picture. Not to go delve into it or anything like this to distract from the main story, but he, he shows that there's a bigger narrative out there and this is part of it, which is fucking great, you know. I'm really looking forward to this Plague War. It's going to be amazing, and particularly after the Lords of Silence stuff where we've seen Motarian and uh, the various bits and bobs that are going on there. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this timeline, this new age getting filled out more, and this is, in, this is crucial to that. You need this in your life. If you can get it, get it. You need to read it. It's a good little tale. Uh, that's probably all I've got to say on the matter, really. Um, yeah. uh, follow the links in the description below if you'd like to help the channel out. Remember to uh, like and subscribe if you're not subscribed. But please do like if you uh, enjoy these reviews. And yeah, I will see you again soon for more stuff. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.